Hello and welcome to another video in the series Learning to Drive with Gary Phillips. In this video we're going to look at how the clutch works. And this is just a basic explanation of how the clutch works, nothing too complicated, just so that you can grasp the understanding of what it's doing and it'll give you a better idea of how to use it. First of all, think of this simple diagram here. We've got two what we call clutch plates. One is connected to the engine, the other is connected to the wheels. The one that's connected to the engine turns. When the engine's switched on, that turns all the time and if you've got a rev counter you'll see that it ticks over maybe about 800 900 revs and that means that that plate is turning round 900 revolutions per minute this one connected to the wheels is disengaged from that one when the clutch is down so when your clutch is down those two plates are apart and the next diagram shows us the rotating plate there that's joined to the engine just starts to take up contact with this one that's connected to the wheels because what we've done is brought the clutch about halfway up and that's what's called the biting point you've probably heard of the biting point so that's before the plates fully touch together they're almost touching and what that's doing is creating a friction and that friction will hold the car still if you're on a hill so when you find a biting point and take the handbrake off if you're on a hill that should hold the car still it shouldn't move forwards or roll back and it's a very very fine line so if you bring the clutch up a tiny fraction it's going to move forwards if you put it down slightly it's going to roll back so getting that biting point perfect is uh, quite a skill but it's very important to be able to do that but at this point the plates aren't really touching they're almost touching and it's just creating friction between the two to hold the car steady the third diagram shows us the plates uh, are fully together and that's when the clutch is fully up at that point the engine is driving the wheels uh, continuously so the power that's created from the engine is transferred to the wheels and it drives the wheels so hopefully that's helped you to understand a little bit more about the way the clutch works um, and how to use it look forward to seeing you again soon